The end of January 2019 marked the recognition of the Goshen Theater's Next Act campaign with Goshen Theater Week. We at Globe Media talked with Managing Director Amber Burgess and Board Member Marcia Yost about the changes that will be coming to the Goshen Theater and how that will affect the theater's relationship with the community. There have been a lot of significant changes in the way the Goshen Theater is being utilized and the ways that programming are being utilized and the community access to the building. There have been a lot of those changes in the last even six months. One of the things that I would like to see um, especially with students and folks in the area. Like there's three different ways for people to support Goshen Theater. Like you can donate money, which everybody knows that that's a way to support the theater, right? You can donate, um, you can volunteer here, which is wonderful. We love having new volunteers and you can sign up for all of that stuff on goshentheater.org. But one of the coolest ways to support Goshen Theater is just to come to an event. The revitalization is very important because it's kind of a central hub point in our community. It is a place where we hope people will begin to think of as uh, something that they can look at to do something. Well, we are currently in the Next Act Phase 1 campaign. We're excited. It was a $5.2 million campaign. At this point in time, we have raised all the funds we need for the actual capital project. We're in the process, though, still of raising a million dollars for the foundation for the sustainability. One thing that I really know, having been a, a lifelong Goshen resident, is how important this theater has been to Goshen and Goshen's growth since it was built back in the early 1900s. To get more information about the Next Act campaign, to get involved, or to find out more about upcoming events, you can go to goshentheater.com. For Globe News, I'm Zach Begley.